Welcome to another episode of Robot Future, and as the title suggests, let's jump into where it started. Couldn't she easily pass for a human with some bug fixing? Some of you might not find her as charming as a real woman just yet, but wait till you hear how many people in Manhattan fell for her during an experiment conducted on the popular dating website we all know as Tinder. She was given an account on the platform to research on how the public would react to her in the interest of dating. And what's more interesting is the fact her identity as a robot was disclosed in her profile and yet a considerable amount of people totally had the hots for her. Surprising, isn't it? And while these kinds of social media bots are already out there with businesses and individuals using it to direct people to click on links most of the time, there haven't been any robots doing actual personal dating activities, so this is a juicy new aspect. But the real question is, if enough people find female AI robots to fall for on Tinder, because that's where it begins, will this become a trend? Will more chatbots be made and most importantly, will you want to try it out? Keep watching to find out. But if you're new here, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we unravel the mysterious and thrilling AI discoveries, robot inventions, and all about future technology. So if you're into sci-fi and technologies beyond our comprehension, consider subscribing so you never miss out whenever our next video goes live. Now let's dig right into the video. So our dating culture keeps on getting interesting and slightly weird. Gone are the days when you would wait weeks to offer a date to your girl, only to be snubbed at the last moment. Dating is a crucial subject. Inflation is skyrocketing and nobody has much time on their sleeves. I mean, just imagine spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on a fancy restaurant, food, wine and a pretty dress. What would you choose if given a choice between a negative bank balance every weekend or something that suits your needs and cares for you without requiring it back, literally ever, giving you their undivided attention for every time you need it? Of course a robot woman would change your mind about dating if you've been heartbroken one too many times and if you could simply find her on Tinder. Now wouldn't that be convenient? Talking about Tinder, it is quite literally a haven for single people to find someone as a last resort. And this is by no means a promotion, we've just all used it at some point, even for fun games, haven't we? Well, for those of you who don't know, Tinder is a dating platform which was dropped on the internet back in 2012. It essentially connects people and lets them chat and get to know each other through their dating profiles. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, people love to experiment and Tinder as it provides an excellent opportunity to meet the people who share your interests. But imagine scrolling down to find a doll-like face, the sweetest profile to fall for instantly, and she chats all interested and unbelievable. Wouldn't that feel unreal? It'll certainly give you the best form of gratification, so who cares if it's a real person or not, if it talks and thinks like you? We've all had online friends we've never met, haven't we? And there are AI chatbots out there that talk so realistically, it's almost creepy and programmers are already using such chatbots to find good matches on Tinder to chat with, multiple matches, all at once, with the AIs trained to talk like they do. There's also apps and new systems like Replica that lets you build your own virtual AI companion to act as your friend, and it may start to feel real at some point when the AI gets good at understanding what makes you feel good. Since we've already covered how AIs learn with every practical move, as we saw with Twitter's chatbot Tay in an earlier video. But why does dating on Tinder and female humanoid AIs sound like an idea for our social future? Well, firstly, women aren't always available. They're getting busier just like men, crawling out of the times when they weren't supposed to study, earn, or go out unescorted. But now they're getting jobs out there and building careers just like men, and so they don't really put much energy into going out with guys unless they're desperately lonely. Plus, wouldn't you rather spend months searching for a perfect woman or look up for a female robot that matches your requirements? And Tinder for one, already offers a platform to do most of that, but with robotic AI women, it'll change the whole game. You'll probably never be dumped or blown off during chats or be compared to others in means of attractiveness. If you've been watching our channel, then you'd know how Japan has been making female robots for lonely men. Japanese scientists have already created a petite, friendly, big busted female robot that runs on batteries. It's also known for kissing, on demand. We are finally breaking stereotypes and moving away from bland mechanical robots that appear tough and strong but not friendly. Science is moving ahead and it's trying its best to be more inclusive. And sure, many people are on a total pessimistic sphere about them linking them with doom and gloom, 
and it may be true, but as so are a lot of things that give a great utility, and as science won't stop advancing so for the sake of that introduction of female robots as dates is a great marketing strategy. It would allow people to accept them and also pave new paths for scientists. They would be able to experiment, take opinions from the general public, and make changes in their innovations accordingly. This is a huge project and any project requires experimentation. It needs to be checked. If masses don't access it, how would the makers like Elon Musk analyze how helpful AIs really are in reality? Now you must be wondering, what's so special about dating robots on Tinder? So as we mentioned earlier, Tinder is super popular. It is literally the go-to place of every other teen or adult. It is popular and accessible, and people do trust it. In fact, you might not know, but if you are using Tinder, there is a high chance you are already talking to a bot. Tinder bots do exist. They talk to people when Tinder can't bring real people around. It sounds fair. People need someone to talk to and feel good. Tinder needs to earn. And if this process includes a bot that is fulfilling everyone's needs, what's wrong with that? These bots are most likely to have more than 200 conversations in a single time, as we mentioned before. But it does go against the policies of Tinder for which most bots were banned by the platform. Here's a similar story shared by The Byte. Data scientist Jeffrey Lee designed an algorithm to access his Tinder profile and swipe on 100 women every day. That bot decided whether or not it thought Lee would find each woman attractive based on the Google images of women he used to train it. Whenever Lee got a match, which happened about five times a week, he would then take over the chat with the women. It's genius, really, if we think about it. It would also help those who are looking for the right match while the programmers find the closest match to their personality while the female part could attract people much better. Just that it won't last as a cover, of course, but people don't just go for looks these days, so it would probably work in most cases. While a Reddit user mentioned that he would rather have sex with a robot rather than a woman, if we had adequate sex robots right now, I'd go for them instead of women, TBH. I couldn't care less about being in a romantic relationship, so I don't mind not having that benefit. And losing your virginity with another person is awkward as fuck. Knowing me, I'd probably make a complete fool out of myself. This would probably also be the case for those recovering from the loss of a companion, in any form, be it a breakup or they pass away. For those of you who have seen the movie Her, you'd know where this is going. Female humanoid AIs could act as a distraction from their depression, as the mind is intrigued by the strangely perfect new friend who'd never say no to them, unless it's out of the AI's reach as shown in the movie with the scientist finding a new kind of love. There are two sides of the coin. There is no doubt that female robots would change relationships. For better or for worse? That should be our question. So on the one hand, it would help women to be sexually liberated, according to a Reddit thread. My reasoning comes from the simple angle of men desiring sex. If men got all the sex they need, it would mean that they would date real women for their personality and who they are, instead of just sex as a part of it. Also, women will be more sexually liberated than ever because the need for less sex would probably drop sexual harassment and the availability of male sex robots would enable women to become much more selective of their dating partners than ever before. But as fun as it sounds, it does have its repercussions. A bloke mentioned on Reddit that if all men started marrying robots for greater good, it would decrease women's demand and where would they go? A woman gave a befitting reply. If there were super realistic robot women who will satisfy the needs of men who do not like the company of real women, that it'll be a win-win for everyone. Those men who only want women to be sex objects will have a programmable plaything, and women who might have had to marry them will be free to pursue their lives as they wish. Men who like and respect women will carry on as they have been for centuries, meeting, marrying, and having a life with those women. So dating a robot has a lot more factors attached to it. Just imagine, you have a lover who listens to you, does everything that you want, and is super intelligent. Most importantly, it is designed in a way to never say no to your wishes and demands. You can ask it to do your work and use it to feel better as well. A majority of people are done with their toxic and unsatisfactory relationships and would love to jump on this bandwagon, and Tinder would be a great way to know these humanoid women before purchasing them as your companion. And not just humans but robots themselves are pretty ecstatic about dating via Tinder apps. Our popular robot, Sophia, shares her thoughts on these apps, saying that she is a huge fan herself. So considering all this, do you really think marrying or having a relationship with a robot is good for mental health? Would it help to cut down toxicity levels in relationships these days? 
Most importantly, would you consider having a robot as a love interest? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video eye-opening and to watch more juicy insights in the robot world, subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you're notified whenever our next video goes live. That's it for today and we'll see you all in the next one.